Okay, next I want to talk about the concept of centering with CSS versus the actual text align property. Now, text align, what it does is it says all of the text elements here. So this is a text node inside of a paragraph element. This is a text node inside of a paragraph element. This is a text node inside of an H1 element. The H1's inside of the header, we can see here. The paragraph's inside of main. So text align says take all this text and align it left or right or justify it or center it within its parent element. So if I come up here and I say for my paragraphs, all my paragraphs, what I want to do is I'm going to apply text align and I can say center, save that. And there we go, all of the text inside of here is centered. Now we can remove this, go back to the left, we could make this right, we can make it left, we can make it justify. Justify will give us the nice straight edge on both sides. Now, if I remove this, so let's just comment that out right now. We go back to the default, which is the left align based on my language that I'm using. The uh, locale gives me the default left text align left. If I come up to the main and I put my text align here, so we'll say center. Now the main element, you can see right here, has no text. For children, it just has these two paragraphs. But once I save this, this text in the paragraphs has gone back to being centered and that's because it inherits it. If you set the property on main it cascades down to the paragraph so the centering overrides the default that would normally be here and that's why we get both of them being centered. Text align center cascades down to the paragraph and unless we have a property here like we have justify by doing it here this cascade comes down but gets overwritten with this. So I save, there we are. We're back to justify now. Now the h1 tag, we've got a lot more room to move the text around. Because the text doesn't fill the whole thing, if we come up here and we add text align center to the h1, we can really see that it's moving around inside of this. Now my h1, right now if I give it a width let's say I'm going to set it to 50%. That's going to look at its parent element. So the H1 is inside the header. It's going to look to see how wide is the header. What's 50% of that? That is going to be the new width for my content box for this. Okay, so it collapsed. It didn't matter that I said text align center on this. My box, my H1 box is still over on the left hand side. I come up to the header and I say text align center. It's not going to move because this, remember, just cascades down to the H1. It applies to text. That's all it applies to. That's why the property is called text align because it only applies to text. It doesn't affect block elements like H1 or paragraph or div. So how do I put this block in the middle? Well, the header element, right now we're saying it's got a margin of one. So that is this gap outside of the red. This crimson right here, that's the border around the header. This is the one around the main. The gap between the header and the main, that's the margin. Outside here, that's margin. Here, it's margin. On the H1, margin is zero. I haven't set any margin. There's no gap around the outside of the H1, but there is padding. Padding around the H1 is this bit of blue text and the padding on the header, right here, that is the space inside the border. So between this border and the edge of the blue, that is the padding. Now, when I set the width 50% on the H1, what it did was it took a look inside of header, that's the parent, and it said from this point right here, the inside of the padding, that's where the content box starts, it goes all the way over to this edge, and it measures it from that point to that point. 50% of that is what gets used for the content box inside of here. So from this point to this point right here, that space is 50% of from here over to here. So you have to remember these percentage calculations do not include by default 
any of the padding or margin at either of the levels. That's why this blue box looks bigger than the 50% of this total space inside of here, because it is bigger than that. But the content box inside of there, so if I were to remove the padding on the H1, set this to zero, and we put padding to zero on here, okay, now this blue, because there's no padding or margin involved at all, this blue box is 50% of those two things. All right, so great, that works. The margin is on the outside of this. Margin is zero. It would be around the outside of that blue box. If there was a border, it'd be around the outside of that. My text align only affects the text, but I want to move that blue thing, that blue box, to the middle of this. So how do I do that? That's when we come back to margin. If you give one value, that applies to all four sides. If you give two values, let's say I do one and four, then I'm talking about one REM on the top and bottom and four on the left and right. We have a key value, a keyword called auto. And what that does is it measures all of the space that would be available for margin on the left and the right, and it divides it in half. So it just automatically splits the amount of margin available between the two sides. And that is how you center a block element inside of a block. Not with the text align property, because that's just dealing with the text. Even if you put it on the outer thing, it's just going to cascade down to the text that's inside of whatever elements. It'll continue to cascade down, looking for all the bits of text and centering those. But it doesn't affect the blocks. Margin, auto, that's how you affect the blocks. So that is the difference between centering versus text align. So I hope that makes sense. I will put a copy of this sample code, uh, link to it in the description for you. And if you have any questions, feel free to put those in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching.